Okay, I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to show you some items I got that my friend gave me before she left. She had this black canister set and she didn't want it. And she was like, Debbie, there's some things I'm just going to give you. So she gave me this canister set. It's all in black, which is so nice from the biggest down to the smallest. Then there was this black uh, can opener. She had a black toaster and I walked off and forgot to get it so I can always get a black toaster but this is what she gave me uh, so I'm gonna kind of do some changing in here so hold on okay also she gave me hold on because I'm gonna have to get this she gave me this huge plant yeah so I'm gonna do something with this. And it's pretty heavy, it's pretty nice. I knocked some of the leaves out, so I gotta go back and put them back in here right. But it's pretty nice, I don't think she ever used this. So she gave me this, and then she gave me another one. She gave me this one, and the baskets are really nice. So I'm thinking about kind of incorporating this with some other things for a table setting around the holidays. So that was one she gave me. She gave me that. Then this little plant here. Oops, there's more of those leaves. She gave me this little plant here, which I can take this out and use it as a planter. But uh, right now she gave me this. So I got a lot of uh, plant things. But then today at work, this girl that does housekeeping, she was like, Debbie, you guys are throwing that basket away? I'm like, what basket are you talking about, Vern? She said there was a basket with the flowers in it. They just took it and threw it in the trash. I'm like, Vern, go dig the, uh, the basket out and bring the basket to me. Dump the flowers. But this was the basket they were throwing away. Isn't that a nice basket? I thought, I'll take that home. She left the plastic thing in there, which I can take out. But... I think I'm going to leave that in there just for a protector, but this is what that looks like. And hold on. Okay, and then she gave me this. This has, I don't want to drop that. This is what this looks like. It is so, you know what, you guys are not seeing how pretty this is. This is so pretty. And then, and it's six of these. And then this is the wine. Uh, what you put your wine or whatever liquid you're going to put in there. It is so pretty. I'm loving this that's going around there. And then there's a tray that it sits on. So this is the tray that it sits on. It has to be cleaned up, but this is the tray. And believe it or not, I have another tray just like this with a smaller tray that I found at a thrift store some years ago. So I'm going to clean this up, find some kind of polish for it, but it's got a little rust in it right there. But I think this can be fixed up, and I'm just loving this. And like I said, this goes on, oops, goes on here, and then the rest of the glasses. Tell me that's not beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, those are the things that I wanted to show you guys. And I, again, want to thank um, Lisa in Paradise for, um, she received something from me and she just gave me a, the most wonderful shout out. And from that shout out, I had people come over to the channel. And I just want to thank those new subscribers that I have. There is the Baking Diva. She came over to the channel. The Big King family. Um, Sharon, last name is spelled G O. W-D-Y, uh, Joy's Good Vibes, Kiki with she, she this lady is here in Omaha, and again, that's Kiki with she, she. and then I'm going to spell this lady's name out, it's X-E-N-A, then B as in boy, E-L-L-E-Z-Z-A. And then we've got G Mama D Housewife. And then um, this young lady is, her 
I'm going to spell her name. Her name is spelled C as in cat, H-E-L-L-E-M-I-L-L-E-R. So those are some of the new, scri new subscribers that came over. And this lady I haven't seen for a while. And I mean, she could do some beautiful tablescapes. And, and her uh, name on the channels is She Styled It. And I haven't seen her for a while. And I just love the way that she would do tablescapes and just design in general. Just beautiful stuff. So, you know, check these people out. And uh, some of them are right now are beginning and they have small numbers. But uh, let's, again, encourage one another, you know. Um, and to all of those that have birthdays from uh, July until August, because we're almost out of August, happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. That is your day and you need to celebrate that. So, and my cousin's wife, her birthday is coming up. Hey, Zephra. It's August 29th. They live in Missouri. She's an awesome, you know, she is like a sister. She married my cousin. And you would never know it because the, the moment we met, we just hit it off. It was unbelievable how we just connected. Just, she's a beautiful lady. So, uh, just encourage one another. If you see someone new on a channel and you really like them, you know, give them a shout out of that uh, channel that they're on. I can't say enough about those who just helped me to, to get new subscribers uh, when I first started out. And I'm still growing, and it's okay. It's okay. I was thinking about something the other night, and I said, Lord, you know, sometimes in the midst of smallness, you have greatness. And I have some of the greatest subscribers. Honestly, guys, <coughs> I enjoy looking at your channels. I enjoy the things that you're doing. And with the holidays coming up, a lot of you are just getting super crafty. I mean, some of these tablescapes I'm looking at and taking some of the things from the Dollar Tree and recreating them, that's awesome in itself. So I am just thrilled about that, but I'm not ready for fall stuff yet. I'm not ready to do that yet. I'm still sticking with the summer stuff, and I'm going to wait until, you know, September, and then I'll start doing some of that. But I'm preparing my stuff. That's what I'm doing. I'm figuring out I've got a... You know what? I'm going to bring this in here and show this to you guys. Hold on. Okay. I went shopping at the thrift store a couple of weeks ago. And they had this. Can you see this? Oh, it's not too dark. They had this dresser there. And I asked the lady how much they were asking for it. And she said to me, she said, well, you were in here over the weekend. I said, nope. I didn't leave my house. I stayed in. It was too hot. She said, well, we had all these tables and uh, table ends on sale for five dollars nobody bought any and so she says since you weren't in here I'm gonna let you go ahead and have it for five dollars and so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna paint it I don't want it this color in my room so I'm gonna be thinking I thought about painting it all white like again I said the walls throughout the house are gray they're gray and white and so I don't know if I want to just paint it white and do the handles in a different color. Someone told me I should paint the bottom red and then do the, the this top part gray. I don't know about that. But I'm going to do something with it. And it's not in bad shape. It's got a few little nicks on it and stuff, but the doors are deep. And for five bucks, I need a table on the side of the bed. I'm going to do it. So I'm going to be looking for some paint probably this weekend. They do have a place here they call under the sink where you can go and get free paint. Where somebody didn't need all the paint so they take it to this place and then you can go and you can get the paint for free. Okay, those are the things I wanted to share with you. Get back up here on this chair. Uh, like I said, um, it was some sad news at work. You know, I work in an environment where there are older people. That's just a fact. It's an assisted a living, assisted living facility. And some of these residents can do for themselves and some cannot. Uh, we have a mem memory care unit and that is where some of the residents, their memory is just not 
what it was when they were up and well. And so this gentleman, ever since I had started there, he was always so sweet to me. And he would come down in the morning, he said, Debbie, you over there? He would never call me Deborah. He called me Debbie. And uh, he would just say, he just wanted to say good morning to me. And he would always have a piece of chocolate for me. And I remember for my birthday, I, I had taken that day off and I came in the next day. And he said, you know, I had a card for you but you weren't here. And uh, he had a birthday card for me. And so uh, it was sad news on today that um, he died. He died early this morning. He died in his sleep. Uh, his son said, you know, all yesterday he was just singing um, a lot of, uh, just a lot of gospel songs. He said he, that's all he did yesterday. He just was just singing these songs. And uh, his name was Mike. Uh, very nice guy. And this, this is the hard part about when you work in a facility like that, you start getting attached to people. And it's hard. Anytime you see that flower out in the entryway, you know somebody has passed. And so I think my supervisor didn't want to tell me this morning, because she already knew. She knew it was getting close for me to go home. And she told me, she said, Debbie might die this morning. And it was, I just, my heart, it was just... It was hard. Uh, and then there's this little lady, her name is Florence. Every day she comes to the office and she'll say, will you call, will you call my family? And will you tell them I'm ready to come home? And you know, all you can do is just say, okay, Florence, we're gonna call them. But you know, and I think she knows, it's just become a routine with her that she's not going back home. She says, all I wanna do is go home so I can take care of my house. And she says, I just live down the street. I don't live far from here. And it's just, it makes me think about my mother. It makes me think about my father. It just makes me think about me. It's a reality check because whether you believe it or not, we're all getting old. It doesn't mean you have to act old, but we're getting up in age. And I'm just thanking God right now. Come January, I'll be 62. And I thank God for my health. I do. I thank God for my health. I thank Him every day because I know that if it was not for Him, I could be really in bad shape. Because some people my age that I went to school with, they're either really sick, they've passed already, or they are just struggling mentally, physically, all of that. And I know that it's nothing but the grace of God that I can say that I'm in sound mind. Some people might not think that. But my mind is sound. I'm able to see my grandchildren. I'm able to do that. And I look at a lot of the people in that facility, and some of their family members don't even come to see them. And it's so sad because they don't have anybody. And it's like they're in this facility, and they never get to go anywhere unless they take them out on an outing in the van to ride. Can you imagine being in a facility and nobody comes to see you? Nobody comes in there to tell you that they love you? That is a horrible, horrible feeling. So if you've got loved one and your parents are still alive and you love them, you should go tell them you love them. And I hear a lot of people say, well, I don't get along with my parents. You get one set of parents. And I know sometimes parents are, they have been some awful parents. But if you've got good parents, you need to love on them. You need to love on them. And so I'm just saying, if you know someone in a nursing home or something, go visit them. Go see them. Just go say hello. There's so many things you could do. So, hold on. Well, we're going to end this video because the guy is here working on some things in the house. And this is my little Pookie Shookie. She's so brave. She'd be trying to take care of me, but she can't. Say, let's say hi. Say hi. Say hi, y'all. She's so stubborn. Okay, until our next video, this is Good Money Stewart saying bye-bye, be blessed, and know that God loves you. Bye-bye.